Hey, hey I'm a snake. snake. What, what did, did you, you expect, expect lady? lady? Hey, everybody. Welcome to Michael Antonio Live once again. And, yeah, I got to tell you the bad news. Twitter suspended my account because I said something they didn't like. And, of course, you know this is a very hotly contested time in history. We have so much going on in our politics. And you know, of course, Twitter, Facebook, the rest of these places do not allow for freedom of speech. They don't believe in it. So you know what's going on there. And ironically, the same day, Facebook gave me a suspension of one week. So you know that they're in concert together. They know what's going on. They're constantly telling each other who the troublemakers are. And of course, I happen to be one of those troublemakers, I guess. But I just wanted to say, I'm going to tell you guys that it's okay. You know, look, we're all getting tired of these sites, which is why we need to move over to the freedom-friendly social media sites, like Parler. I haven't heard too much about one that's called MeWe. I am on there, but I don't really go there that often. But I know that Parler is pretty good. I mean, it's it's growing in number, and I'm getting a lot of traction on Parler, much more quickly than Twitter. I know that Twitter, I've been on Twitter for like 10 years, and literally, I, I was not able to gain any traction on there as far as followers, as far as people watching what I'm saying, or any interactions. They've really kind of put the throttle on that. It's really, uh, it's really ironic what they're doing to us. So, yeah, if you go to Parler, I'll just tell you right now that Parler is not going to... They're not going to throttle you down. They're going to let you be who you are. So I will, I will tell you right now, go to Parler. And, of course, I am on there, at Michael Antonio, same as Twitter, at Michael Antonio. And I'll leave a link to my Parler in the description. Please find it, uh, and uh, that'll be probably the easiest way to join me in these uh, ventures that we are now seeing ourselves facing. This is this is going to be tough, guys. We don't know exactly what's going to happen. I know that uh, Sidney Powell and Rudy Giuliani and all these different people who are fighting for us and for our freedoms, they're out there fighting the fight, proving this fraud. The problem is, even though we know what happened, look, we know there was a fraud. We know that this is going to be an illegitimate presidency. But can we get the courts, or more specifically, the Supreme Court, to agree with us? Can we get the Supreme Court to say, yeah, we see it too, and you know what, we're not going to let it stand? I don't know. I'm hoping that we can do that. If not, we're going to have problems for the next four years. But I can tell you, there is hope. Can I tell you about the hope that we have? There's a lot that we can still do. And of course, the first one I just talked about, I've already talked about it. And that is, leave these other social media sites. Now, you don't even have to leave them. You don't have to cancel them or you know, erase your account there. What you have to do is simply don't use them that much. Maybe you'll use it once in a while when you want to talk to a family member that decided to stick around. You know, you can you can always have them available for those kinds of things. But if you want to actually speak freely, if you want to express your beliefs, your opinions, if you want to gather together and, you know, uh, strategize uh, against the next four years especially, what we have going on, you have to go to places like Parlor. Now, there might be some other ones that are coming up that you will be able to use in the near future that will be just as good, possibly better than Parler. But I'm saying right now you have to do what is available for you to do, and that's to go to a place like Parler. So please do so, and let's win the you know let's win this fight. That's the first step. Don't give a lot of attention and time to places like Twitter and Facebook. They will never give you what you need. They are always going to be against you. They are not for you. They've already proven with everything they do that they are liars. They will steal from you. I can tell you personally, and by the way, my uncle who runs a couple of very large pages on Facebook, Facebook stole nearly $100,000 from them. He will attest to that. 
Think about that for a minute. Nearly $100,000 was stolen from my uncle who runs several very large pages on Facebook. And I'm very surprised they haven't erased his pages yet. I mean, it's very shocking to me that they haven't done that. But I'm just telling you guys now, we have to be ready for this fight. So that's the first step. Number one, leave these other places, Twitter, Facebook. You don't have to erase them. You don't have to do that. But what you have to do is you have to leave them and only go there maybe when a family member contacts you for some very, very, you know, very limited, simple things. That's it. Don't go there every day. Don't waste your time. Because you know what? They want you to go there. And remember something. If we all leave there, if, if, if 99% of the conservatives leave that site, Twitter and Facebook, trust me, they're not going to do very well. Because they have a very small echo chamber. Remember, the, the, the leftist extremists are very small in number, believe it or not. You have a lot of moderate Democrats, some that are slightly left. They don't believe in the craziness of people like AOC and the you know the Antifa crowd. They don't believe in that. So Twitter's gonna have a very hard time with their business model to be successful. And the same for Facebook. It's just not gonna happen. So like I said before, what you need to do is you need to immediately not spend any time at those sites anymore and go to a place like Parlor where you can be heard. Now people will say, well wait a minute, isn't that an echo chamber as well? Isn't, you know, isn't, you know, uh, Parlor an echo chamber for conservative thought? Yeah, right now it is. Even though conservatives allow all people to come there, even leftists can go there and express their opinions. Now they're going to get an argument and that's what it's all about. They, you can have an argument. You're allowed to argue your point. That's what we want. We want the discussion, the debate, the exchange of ideas. Because the best ideas rise to the top when you allow all people to speak. We know this to be true. This is human nature. This is how this works. So we go there. So that's, again, step number one. Step number two, guys. Step number two. You want to stop watching standard media. No more network media. Stop watching NBC, CBS, ABC. Don't give your attention to these channels anymore. You want to go to a place like Newsmax or somewhere like, uh, what is it, OANN? You want to go to places like that. Don't even give attention to Fox anymore because they have been overrun by leftist leadership now. When Rupert Murdoch gave control of that company to his children, this is what happens. They turned a hard left. Now, I know some of you say, well, what about Tucker? What about, uh, you know, Sean Hannity? What about these people? You know what? I'm sorry, they're going to have to be casualties of war. Now, if they're smart, they will jump ship too, and they will go to a place like Newsmax. They will go there, and they will find a home there. If they don't, that's their own problem. Guys, we, do, we cannot afford to have loyalty to a particular person. We have to have loyalty to the ideals the things that we believe in, that we know are superior to all other thought processes, all other, all other philosophies, we know that to be true, guys. So, be loyal to that. Be loyal to freedom. And guess what? The rest of the people will have no choice but to either follow or be left behind. There's nothing that they can do. It's not going to work for them. So, again, first, leave these social media sites behind Go to the ones where you're going to be able to flourish. And I can I can attest to this personally. I can tell you that when I went to Parlor, now I've been on Parlor for what, roughly a year, whatever amount of time it was, a very short time. But in the last couple of months, since I've gone there and actually exercised more time there and focused on it more, I've been able to gain a lot of traction. And I'm talking about you know, exponentially more than Twitter ever gave me in the, in the decade that I've been with Twitter. And Facebook as well. I've been on Facebook a very long time. They showed me no loyalty. Twitter shows me no loyalty, of course. But guess what? Parler has already given me a platform that I never had anywhere else. Now, Gab, I don't know if you've heard of Gab before. They've had some of their problems. Uh, but Gab is another platform that you might consider that will, they will give you the opportunity to flourish and to exercise your freedoms. So go ahead and check Gab out. But I would tell you guys, 
you know, you leave these sites and don't watch network television, don't even watch Fox anymore. Watch Newsmax, watch OANN, watch these sites that are going to give you the freedom to express yourself. And it's going to it's going to flourish because when people want to hear what you have to say, trust me, you're going to do a lot better. So, and I know, I know sometimes there's a, this emotional attachment. There's like a nostalgia, like, oh, Facebook. Oh, it's, you know, it's, it's the place that I've always been. You know, you get comfortable in these places, Twitter, Facebook, you know, but you know what? Remember MySpace? Do you remember that place? Let me tell you, I was heavy into MySpace back in the day too, because I was sharing my music at the time. And I thought, wow, who's ever going to replace MySpace? I mean, my goodness, there's nobody that even has a chance. And I remember when Facebook came up at first, I thought, you know, I even joined Facebook back then when I was on MySpace. And I thought, nah, there's no way, there's absolutely no way that Facebook is going to do what MySpace can do. I mean, this is what happens to us. We get into this mindset, and it's a false mindset. It really never, it really never pans out the way we think it's going to. So what happens is, is that Facebook came up, and man, I remember when it exploded all at once within like... I would say within a couple of months, Facebook just blew up. And I think it was around the year 2010, maybe 2009, 2010. It just blew up. So like I'm saying, guys, this is what's going to happen with Parler. If conservatives go to Parler and go to these other places, Gab, Parler, MeWe, guess what's going to happen? Those other places are going to struggle. They're going to struggle to, 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 to make money, to actually survive, because they're only going to have a little echo chamber of a few idiots that decided to stick around because, hey, this is the place to be. They thought they defeated us. They didn't defeat us. They didn't win this battle. We are winning. Because if we all leave... Now, look, I'm not saying, again, I'm not saying cancel your account. I'm saying just don't spend a lot of time there. Go there only once in a great while. Turn that place into a ghost town. Turn Twitter into a ghost town and Facebook. Just, you know, make them beg you to come back. And then, you know what? Tell them, yeah, yeah I'll see you when I see you, okay? That's how you got to treat these people. You tell them that. I'll see you when I see ya. And that's how we got to do this, guys, because it's the only way we're going to win. You can't keep feeding the beast. Stop feeding the beast. Now, look, I still spend time on Facebook. I still spend time on Twitter. Well, not anymore. I think I think this is it. I think this suspension from Twitter is it for me. I don't think they're going to even let me back. But you know what? Again, I don't care. I have to go where I am welcomed. We have to go to places where we are accepted and welcomed. And it's going to work out. So, guys, do that. And, again, stop watching these networks. They're only feeding a system that doesn't like you. For the last four years, they've lied to you. They have destroyed what our president has been trying to do. They have done nothing but harm us. Now it's time to turn it around on them. We're not going to treat them the way they treated us, beating them onto the streets, telling lies about them. No, we're going to beat them with the truth. You remember that old expression? Stop telling lies about me, and I'll stop telling the truth about you. But the difference is, no, what's going to happen is they are going to not stop telling lies because that's what they are. They're liars. It's like the woman that was bit by the snake. She was handling a snake and the snake bit her. And she said, why did you bite me? And he says to her, hey, I'm a snake. What did you expect, lady? So that's what's happening. These people are snakes. So how do you beat them? Don't play with them. Stop playing with the snakes. It's as simple as that. Okay, guys? Look. I've rambled on enough. You know what to do. Just get it done, guys. And I want to thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget. Please subscribe. Like this video. Comment on this video. Tell me your thoughts, your ideas. Even if you disagree with me, if you think we should go in another direction. Even if you're a leftist watching this and you think, oh, you guys will never beat us. We will always win. Okay, tell me why you think that is in the comments. But like I said, like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell because that's the best way that you're going to get my videos on a continuous basis. Guys, I love you all. And remember, we're going to win this, guys. Ciao, everybody.